Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life at SAP. And today in this session, we are going to learn about the uh, substitution rule. Uh, before going jumping into the actual configuration, I want to explain the what is substitution rule uh, and all these things. And basically, this substitution rule is def uh, defined by a functional consultant which validate or substitute one or more than one field. Uh, the same way which we have validation we have created we have will be having the same options like uh, the substitution can be defined at a header level or line item level or for complete document and to, to do the actual configuration uh, we need to use the transaction code zzb1 so here uh, we start the configuration actual configuration uh, i'm going into the transaction code zzb1 so here uh, we need to select the financial accounting and as i told earlier we have three options document header line item and fund complete document i am selecting the line item level uh, and so i am here adding this so we need to select the field which we are uh, which are going to substitute here i am selecting the profit center here. And, and system is giving the three options a constant value or exit or field assignment i'm going with a constant value yeah so in the prerequisites uh, we need to maintain the criteria at what level this substitution should be worked out so i'm going to select my company code here so company code big of bookers is equal to constant 201 my company code is and 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 whenever this transaction code uh transaction code is equal to ab70 uh, which is customer device post and and the gl account so gl account would be in basic table level i'm selecting the gl here sorry GL account is equal to uh, let me pick the GL account here from my zero zero and I will take this GL for all zeros okay so we here we have maintained the prerequisites and we are going to do the substitution here so this is the substitution profit center and i will select the profit center which needs to be default okay so when it's compared to validation validation we have we are having three options like prerequisites check and message and when it comes to substitution rule we'll be having these two options only uh prerequisites and substitute the main difference between validation and substitution is validation will uh, show our uh, mistakes and substitution will rectify our mistake this is the main differences between the validation and substitution and i'm going to i'm going uh, ahead and save this rule here i'm going back one more step back yeah. and now we have created our substitution rule now we have to assign it to our company code so for that we need to use the transaction code obbh i'm using the transaction code obbh here so click on new entries and give your company code here and call point would be line item level and my substitution uh this is my one new substitution and activation level i'm giving a one one means activate enter and save it
now we will test this substitution rule i'm going i'm accessing the transaction code ab70 here customer invoice post uh, selected the customer number and just run taking the same GL account which we have maintained in our uh, substitution rule and going moving forward yep so here I will select the profit center the other profit center I will select so system will replace so I'm going to select this profit center 2003 and whenever i hit enter system will select that profit center which we have maintained in our substitution rule it will automatically change see here i'm hitting the enter here what time what time yep you can see it profit center uh, its system has automatically uh, changed the default profit center here so I'm posting this document so we have posted the document i'm clicking on display so here we uh the profit center field is not populating here so let me check the layout here Whatever we have maintained in our substitution rule system has defaulted that one. I will show you again. See, this profit center system has defaulted. Yeah, so if we need to, um, same. Uh, same thing if you have to maintain for multiple gl accounts uh, we need to create uh, one set with the help of uh, vs01 and uh, i will show you that one as well so yesterday we have uh, i have created this validation so here i have will uh, sorry set so I will take some of these uh, PNL accounts here. Instead of creating a uh, one more set, I'm I'm going with this uh, the set which we have created earlier. So I'm going to edit this rule here. I'm just I'm I just to remove this uh, uh, equal to and the GL account and I'm putting a in in and click on set directory and select that uh, set and I click on save. now let's go back to transaction code b70 and try to post an invoice now this time i will take a multiple gl accounts which we have mentioned these two gl accounts we have maintained in our uh, uh, in our set so here i am taking these two So this time I will take two more different profit center here. So system will derive our profit center which we have maintained in our substitution rule. Let's see. So I will take here two zero two zero zero three and two zero three three. These two I will take here. Yeah, this one. So hit enter one more time. See, system has defaulted that those 
profit centers hope you guys understood uh please like and comment on my videos thanks to everyone